In this video we're going to look at enlargements and we're going to be using the ray method for these enlargements. So whenever you're doing this I would recommend get yourself a good pencil and ruler and obviously you're going to have you've got to have your question of the thing you're going to enlarge. Okay. Um, I find the ray method useful whenever there is no coordinate grid given to you. Okay. So my first example I would really use the ray method for. My second example in this video I probably wouldn't use the ray method for it. But um, there's another video I've got called Enlargements um, on a Coordinate Grid, and you can watch that video now. Okay, so this is the ray method for a shape which isn't on a coordinate grid. Okay, and we're going to enlarge this by a scale factor of 3. Okay, so enlarge by a scale factor of 3. Okay, so we've got our center of enlargement and we've got our object. So this is what we're going to enlarge, this is where we're enlarging it from. Okay, so to do the, the ray method, what you would do is first of all, get your ruler, okay, and line it up with each one of the vertices of the shape that you're going to enlarge, okay, and you're going to draw a ray through that point. Okay, so just get your ruler, put it, make sure it's on the center of enlargement and through the vertice vertex and draw your ray. Okay, so that's the first ray drawn. Your second one. That's that ray drawn. And your third one. And that's your third ray drawn. Okay. If your rays aren't long enough you can you can continue, uh, carry them on in a second. Okay. So what we're now going to do is we're now going to make the distance of each of the vertices of the shape three times larger from the center of enlargement. So let's measure it and see how large, how far it is at the minute. So at the minute, now you do this really accurately. So at the minute, I've got this is 3.9 centimeters. This vertex here is 6 centimeters. And this one here. And I, by the way, there I was measuring from the center of enlargement to the point. And this one is 4 centimeters. Okay. Now, because we're enlarging by a scale factor of 3, we're going to times all these distances by 3. So we're going to do 4 times 3, which equals 12 centimeters. We're going to do 6 times 3, which equals 18 centimeters. And we're going to do 3.9 times 3. And 3.9 times 3 is 11.7 centimeters. So what we're going to do is, for each of these points, we're just going to mark the distance, so this, the, this distance that we need, so a scale factor of 3. So 12 centimeters, so go back to the center, put the of enlargement, make sure the zero is on the center of enlargement. And because this was 4 centimeters, we want to now go to 12. So 12 from zero would be here. Okay. This one was 6 centimeters, so it now needs to be 18. And as you can see, I didn't draw my line far enough, so what I'm going to have to do is extend my line. So we wanted to go from 0 to 18, so as you can see, 18 is here, so we put our dot there. And this one was 3.9, we times it by 3, and we got 11.7. So again, we put our zero on the center of enlargement, line up the line, and we go to exactly 11.7 centimeters. Finally then, what we do is we just join up our three points, and that will be we've enlarged the, the, the object by a scale factor of three. We've got our image. The image is the new enlarged shape, and it's also three times further from the center of enlargement. So you get your ruler and just join these up. So that's the left hand side, oh this is the left hand side of this triangle. There to there. And there to there. So there we have got our new object, our new image, which if this was A, B, C, this would be A dash, B dash, C dash. So this is our new triangle, it's three times larger, you could measure the sides, and it's also three times further from the center of enlargement. So this is the ray method. Um, I would use the ray method only, I only really use it for whenever the, the um, there's no coordinate grid. If I did want to do a question like this question, okay, 
you could use the rare method. So it says enlarge triangle T, this triangle, scale factor of 2 with 0, 0 center enlargement. So you put your dot there. You draw your rays for each one of the vertices. And because it's scale factor of 2, you just measure you measure the distances and you times them by two and then you mark on the new distances and you join them up. The reason I don't particularly like this one is that sometimes your points on your image aren't exactly on the coordinate on the coordinate and they should be. Okay, and there's actually I think an easier way to do questions like this.